I am here now. Hello. Hopefully I don't sound congested. Good evening. Congrats on first. I, uh... During Tuesday's stream, it was like halfway through Tuesday's stream, I started feeling like slowly more and more sick. By the time I ended stream, I was like feverish and had chills. And then, uh, basically I was sick like pretty much all week. And then I finished my last two days of work. And now I'm here. I thought about not streaming today, but I just decided to anyway. Am I feeling better? A lot better than I was like a week ago. It started off as like a uh, like fever and chills. And just like body aches. And then after like two days of that, then I started getting like really bad uh, like runny nose and coughing and sneezing and now it's just like <clears throat> the leftover congestion and lethargy just tired i guess i also didn't sleep you know what super long i think we're gonna be friends yay no more job yay no more job thank you for the resub shine 35 months speaking of people who really need sleep Capturing. I wasn't sure if it was capturing the game. Turn that down a little bit. Go to bed. Sleep time. But thank you for the reset. I'm just tired from uh, <clears throat> still recovering from sickness. And I didn't sleep enough. I've been sleeping like 9-10 hours every day. Ever since I got sick. Got into bed at 10 a.m. Exhausted. Just stay in the in-between state for 3 hours. Yeah. That happened to me. Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. I laid down and then just was in between awake and sleep for like three hours and I just got up for a few hours and then laid down for a nap you just gotta do the nap trick Lay down like you're going to take a nap, but then set no restriction on it. <clears throat> um, but anyway, here we are. Back to gaming. Wasn't he... My camera got knocked down a little bit. It's like pointing too low. It seems better. I don't know. My camera got like knocked down a couple days ago and it's like not in the right position again. But we'll... It's fine. It's good enough. 
Um, I think last stream I just put a bunch of mana boosts. Yeah. I need to figure out enchantments. But we got this set up, so we can enchant however much we want. Um, was there any good ones? Am I stealing bending? No. Sharpness and reach. Oh, is there a way to get enchantments off? Of items. But, like, keep the enchantment. Like, put it onto a book. Like, transfer the enchantment to a book. Let me know if anything's too quiet or anything. <clears throat> Could it be magic? Probably not. Blood magic. Oh, God. Spiky claws. Um... What is... Apotheosis? Apotheosis adds all the new enchanting stuff, but I don't think there's a thing for Apotheosis here. To find the netherite smithing table and chests found a bit. These can be combined with netherite ingot and diamond tool or armor and a smithing table to upgrade it to netherite. even at for this like I've never made a waystone <clears throat> there's almost like no point to but maybe I'll do it at some point um we got the ender dragon I guess we can start netherite templates. I wanted to do enchanting. Oh, there's an apotheosis thing here. Okay. I guess we finish chapter one here then, which is we have to kill the Wither and then the Warden. Four Soul Sand, three Wither Skeleton Skulls. Don't do this near your base. 
Do I? I think I have, yeah. Um. Four? Okay. Alright, let's go spawn and kill the wither. Where do we want to do it? Somewhere far away. Doesn't matter if stuff gets destroyed, I guess. <laughs> um, this might be a good spot in this city. Okay, I think I'm gonna... Hmm. I'd like to spawn it down low somewhere. Because <coughs> it's gonna be flying up and away. Anyway. That is a big pumpkin. Stuff? It's like garbage. I swear there's like, maybe not in this, this mod, there was a, blocks that were wither proof, and then you could just build like a cage for the wither. Remember my strategy was always like, just dig, go really far away from my base and then dig down into a cave and then just release it in a cave. <laughs> oh, hello, Smee. Overgrowth seed. I didn't even notice it. Coal side, wow. Uh, let's do it right here. What could go wrong? That's not too loud. There he is. Quite loud. Okay, hold on. Um. Loud. 
Just withers are so loud. I don't want dirt. Much dirt. Everyone must know. That he's attacking one person. Put reach on. Probably sharpness as well. Some of these are not hitting them. They're just like going right past him. My chakram's back. W physics for real. Go to the build height limit. That's how you want to do stuff. DBZ fight. thought you'd see a DBZ fight in Minecraft. There you go. Same brain cell. We just share it. Had to go all the way up there. <laughs> so I probably should have made a matrix for him first. Oh well, do they know? Mission complete. Lost another one of my flame chakrams as well. <coughs> They're supposed to come back to me, but they sometimes they just don't. A reward. I don't know what I got. What did that what did that give me? site emerald site let's go back up I think we do that again curse of bones I still don't know what bone shield is I think we do that again though uh gonna build like a little room for him I 
Oh, I don't have to fly all the way up to the stratosphere to fight him. Probably enchant my weapon as well with sharpness. Wither complete. A block of iron. Hooray. And now we need to kill the warden. Summon by setting off a skulk sensor that is near a skulk shrieker at least three times. The warden is blind. It can only find you if it hears you. So either fly around or sneak. And if you use ranged or melee attacks, it will find you. And it will hit you. If you go too far, it'll burn to the ground and come up next to you. Good to know. I think I need to make my weapon stronger, though. Just so sick of being sick. Supremium Sword does 24 attack damage versus 9. Uh, what does that take to make? Good lord. What is an awakened? Awakened Supremium. Awakening on the mystical agriculture. I see. It seems like it does quite a lot of damage. Is it the highest damage sword? I mean, surely, like, the all the modium sword or whatever the frick does a ton of damage. The green and blue makes you look like that one nature deity monkey dude from Bloons. Oh, the druid? Druid monkey? Rise. Oh, oh. Oban. Oban. The hero. Glass sword has a durability of one. Rise. Well, the Modium Sword. Indestructible. Still doesn't do as much damage. Vibranium. Unobtainium does 28. <clears throat> the Awakened Supremium does 29 attack damage. Supremium is 24. That does so much damage. Maybe we should make a Mystical Agriculture Sword. <laughs> Kind of, it's kind of a wacky sword. Did not know you can turn that into blocks. Do I have an Imperium sword? I did it at one point as like a quest reward. 
I might have thrown it away though. No big deal. Kind of a big deal. Any prosperity ingots? The gems take. I thought I made a couple of those. I guess not. Whoops. Inferium? I need to get a prosperity shard farm going of some sort. I wonder if my quarry got any. How you doing, buddy? Still going. No prosperity shards, though. Prosperity right there. No, that's zinc. Damn zinc and aluminum. Tricking me. In this tin is loyal. I need to get I need to make these, not these. Um I think you only get them from bees, right? Is an infinite resource. I need prosperity bees. <laughs> Need to figure out how bees work. Damn it. Can I express enough how much I do not want to do that, but we're going to need it. Um, do, is there anything here I want to take back with me? I guess I'll take the emerald and the diamonds. That's stuff. Okay. How the frick do bees work? You spawn the bees. You sell some nests. Right clicking the trees, lure bees. Some nests require special tools, okay? I 
I spawned them in with a nest. Must be placed in specific biomes. You can find the JEI to lure a bee in the nest. Right click with the treat. Certain bees will only live in nests. It will not go to advanced hives. If they don't produce a honeycomb, they need to live in a nest instead. Okay. So I made a quartz nest. And then I lure the bee into the nest. And then the bee leaves. That that's that's the problem, is that it just leaves. Yo, in your base. How's it going? <laughs> you can fly on the bumblebees. Um, where's my books? Do I have the Do I have the B book? The big book of bees. Beginner's Guide. Oh, that does not look very... It needs to be moved over a little bit. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, honey bottles, how you call them? Bee cages. <clears throat> Advanced beehive and expansion box. Advanced beehive is it. So I keep an eye on your bees, what they produce. Some bees can only be found in other dimensions through breeding. JEI. Crystalline no. bee. So do we have to capture a bee? And then. Like, we spawn it, but we still have to capture it. Is that what that... Is that what that means? Yeah, because I tried spawning them. I tried just spawning them and then it was like, nah. You can't, you can't just spawn them. Because then they just fly away. Can this stop going out the wrong way? Hey, get lost. 
and all your little friends too. And then, uh, now what? Sneak more reason to reset its hive position. You know what? Oh. I think we're going to be friends. Thank you for the resub, buddy. 13 months? Really? You're just gonna fly into the magma blocks? Is that what you're gonna do? Thank you for the lurk as well. His brain do it. Oh, you know what I'm missing? My missiles. He's actually in there. Wow. Shift right clicking to assign them to a bee. Your hive doesn't need to be in the nether. It can be at your mine, but they need to have the flowering material placed near it. Huh? So I they have to spawn in the nether. But then I can take them out of the nether and put them in a beehive. Unless they're specifically a nesting bee. Which means that they have to stay in their nest. But they have to be on their, they have to have their flowering material, which in this case is this. They can all be in a hive? Oh, okay, so the guide just lied to me about. Certain bees will only live in nests and will not go into advanced hives. This is what I need. Prospera B. Prospera B. And in my cage. I need more prosperity shards again anyway. I gotta make a block of prosperity. We're off. Don't even start with me. Magma punk. Make them combs. Well, what I really needed is the prosperity bees, so. Come here. Come 
take this. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna make a B thing. Where do I want my B thing? You're still down here, dude. My B ranch. So one serious. You can leash them to posts and they won't fly away. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Got a bee on a leash. Where are these Endermen coming from? What the hell? Tend to be metaternal and better resistance to weather. They stay out in the rain. Better resistance to what? Being in rain? To weather? I mean, I could just put them underground, couldn't I? Quite the process. I hope you enjoy bees. I hate it already. Let's go. How about we take some baby steps first here instead of learning about metaternal and weather resistance and uh, make somewhere where we can put the bees. I think that would probably be a good start. need like a room to start off because I just need prosperity bees I don't know how much room they need though not that much room, right? Ooh, 
Oops. There we go. Put him in a little stone room. Enderman chilling. He's a big chilling. He's just hanging out. Prosperity bees need. Are they in this book? Professional bees. Bees with jobs. These ones. No, not those ones. I don't think they're in the book. QB. I get Cupid, I get it. Farmer B. It's just a bee with a farmer's hat. Attributes, genes. Retreat the safety of the hive during rain and thunderstorms. Bees can be tolerant to harsh weather conditions like being unleashed outside during bad weather. Beware, though, that they have a risk of taking damage or dying until they become accustomed to keeping an eye on the honey treats on hand. Works all day and night. I see. Med eternal. Diurnal B to something during night is a chance to turn nocturnal. There's a nocturnal B during the day and it's a chance to turn eternal. Be careful though is they can take damage but at least in an environment they are not accustomed to. Attack inside of those avoid harmful interaction altogether. Be it that has been fed a lot of honey treats will improve its temper. Okay. Combine the gene with a honey treat or another trader. Two of the same genes by putting on this gene treat. Elden Ring DLC. I have not heard more about that, no. Bottle up bees. Place a bee in the middle of the pool lever. Make sure the bottle is empty bottles. Turn the bottle bee in a centrifuge to separate the useful stuff from the junk. Throw the bee in its centrifuge and spin the good genes out of them. I see. 
Press fit a bee nest on your pretty diamond helmet to get it all sticky. Bees in the nest will surely become accustomed to you and might even defend you when you're in peril. Wearing this garment will also show you well intentions of other bees and keep them from attacking you. You can put a bee nest on your head. Bees can't open doors, right? Right? One would hope. <laughs> you live here now. Where'd that guy go? Stupid ass trainer. I'm with stupid and other wacky design t-shirts. Man, I could get, I could use this on a t-shirt. I could use some help on my essay. Does anyone know anyone who is a graphics artist? Does anyone know anyone who can help write my essay? Can anyone put this on a red bubble t-shirt? Okay, um, what do I need? Pressure plates? Prosperity shards. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Damn. Hello, no idea. How's it going? I mean, no idea. Um. I need to go find prosperity shards. What are you selling? Nothing. You're just gonna do that. As long as he's having fun. He's also having fun. <clears throat> Okay, I need... I just need to get Prosperity Shard so I can get a Prosperity Block. And then I need to get Prosperity... Give that to a Crystalline Bee to make Prosperity Bees. Um... It might be better to train my two bees that I have right now so they pass on good traits since they can't be bred B to convert it with prosperity block. I mean, I kind of figured that's what this diagram meant. The hand. 
the prosperity block to a crystalline bee. What upgrades are there for the beehives, anyway? Uh... In jeans, you get a percentage of a trait. You can combine them in a crafting table to add them together to place them in a gene and texture on a combine. Catch bees that are flying around. You can filter upgrade to filter out which bees you want to catch, as well as bubby upgrade to only catch baby bees. Speed up the growth rate of baby bees or to create new eggs. Place a cage baby bee with 20 honey treat to turn into an adult. Okay. Range. Jeans. Decreases the amount of time bees spend in the hive by 20%. They do. These do stack. You'll need these for ender bees. Lumber and quarry bees will give blocks instead of chips. Filter. The bees. Ranges. And then productivity upgrades. I see, okay. Ease. Let's start with this one, maybe. Just need a lot of honey. And draconic chunks. Okay, maybe we don't start with this one. In fact, that one seems a little bit far off. This one's probably more realistic. Yeah. More oak drawers. Garbage. Or to find some honey blocks. Or free. You must train them. B training. Need a centrifuge. I think we'll just do a powered centrifuge. I got 
make it like this. My God, why they gotta do it like that? Okay, and then one of these, one of those. Um, I guess I'm gonna get a flux point as well. Do love me some flux points. Do I have an energy cube or anything? Whoops. I have coal in here. I do. And you go. Got dang everywhere. Isn't there a delete gravel spell? Is the Enderman making that noise? Weird, like, grumbling noise, yeah. What the Menderman do? That is what it do, Yugi. It's the sound they make. They're kind of goofy.
this should work like this. Wow. I think I might not have to go uh, leash them boys up outside during the night. Okay, you guys gotta leave. What they do? They were hanging out down here too long. How do you get the honey out of it? You just put a pipe in it? Or a bottle? An empty bottle? Overstage, you're welcome. I'm afraid of them, like, interfering with stuff. So... So fluid tanks, I do. Can I just upgrade? I can. Wait. Sure. Okay, does this work if I just put it on top of this? It does. Okay, so I don't need a pipe. We train in the bees with this one. Bee boot camp. Bee camp. Bee boot camp. Leads, not leash. Got a notification from Hoyo Lab.
What is it? Huh? Which character would you like to take out for dinner? Join the discussion to win Primo Gems. <laughs> um, Yelan? Auntie, sorry. Auntie, sorry. Okay, so I need what else do I need? Bees. Barlow has two uses, bottling honey and squishing bees for jeans. To get jeans from bees, place a piston above the bottler with a block of space between them. Place the, the bee on top of the bottler and activate the piston to squish the bee into jeans. The resulting squished bottle can then be placed in a centrifuge. Make sure to have bottles in the bottler. So I should make all these other things as well. I'm sure they'll come in handy and are probably necessary to the mod. Probably not the bee jar though. One neck. Thank you. One gene indexer, one bottler. One hay bale. Where will I ever get enough hay for that? One catcher. Oops. What is this? Oh, the acting up emote. <laughs> uh, one dispenser. One catcher. Indexer brother. Incubator, catcher. Okay, that's one of everything. Make some bottles. And then I need um, a piston for the bottler. Do I have a button. I do.
Testing my patience, Piston. Oh, you are very much testing my patience right now. That just straight up breaks the button. But and Eight. Oh. Awkward. Me when I lie. <laughs> And I need a couple of these as well. I like always face the wrong way somehow. You should just stay out. <laughs> he wants the block of quartz so bad. since I got you both out here. I just need to make sure they don't hurt themselves. giving out those purple particles when I was close to the bees for some reason. I'm training them. It's for their own good. I promise.
gonna take a while. Okay, what do I need to do in the meantime? Um... Totally not hurting them in the process. Yeah, totally. Probably gonna need one of those. Get a little bit of a gene sample, you know what I mean? You're probably wondering. Why is there diamond swords involved? Don't worry about it. They're fine. What can you even use the wax for? Candles? Assuming waxed copper items maintain their look. Fuel. We turned into wax blocks. specific upgrade seems like he made it back in So I just got to keep this one up all night. It is nighttime, right? No, it's daytime. I thought it was nighttime because this one went back in the hive. Wake up. Now.
He <laughs> had your eyes closed for a moment. Wake up. I knew. When he knows. God damn. Well, oh, I just missed him. It's fine. I should probably just take this guy outside. Need to find prosperity shards anyway. It's becoming nighttime. Let's go. Actually, I should have to watch him now because he might take damage. Can't like die of old age or anything, can they? Simulator upgrade. <clears throat> As a simulator upgrade. Bees will no longer physically exit the hive. Trip to its flower block will instead be simulated. Interesting. Gina the Curious. Magic book slot? Why would I want that in my magic book slot? Hmm. 
No, that doesn't work. It's something that takes enchantments off. Destroys the item in the process. I don't need that. I should go look this up in front of my bee. Make sure he's not dying or something. Oh, he made it back in the hive. Never mind. Okay. Clearly, I have to do this outside. Away from the hive. Yeah, I don't really need fence then, because I already got fence posts out here. Um... experience be there's something they can take enchantments off I know there is Enchantment Extractor. Works for me. Okay. A simple machine frame, two nether, two iron, two plastic, and a gold gear. Two plastic. Uh, two nether, two iron. And a gold gear. Bunch of latex. What am I doing for latex? Five buckets. It's not too bad. I don't have any buckets. <laughs> Threw them all away. into bricks.
I got confused for a second. Okay. Um. Oh, this takes pink slime, man. A little pressure chamber. No, probably not. Does that actually work? Okay, I'm reading that you can do... Obsidian, and then if you put a book in the item and then drop an anvil on it. Oh shit, that works. Okay. That's way easier. <laughs> I have my bees out. It's raining. Well, I could just pick up the bees directly from the like the hive. I can just grab them from it. here either just put that there yep. um what i wanted to do was let's do this and that sharpness And looting. Well, I just learned that I can set books down on the ground like that. Tombstone Cellbound. See if that worked. I hope so. Like stealing sharpness, looting. Okay. Looks good to me. They didn't get reached, though. It's fine. now 
is nice. You know why this cat is sad? Why is that? No cat food immediately. That would make sense. <laughs> Chanter. Yeah, the Ender IO Enchanter is pretty based. Based. Based on what? You can just make, like, whatever you want in it. <laughs> Arthropods. Imagine having Bane of Arthropods. Yikes. Two? It's so weird that the loyalty enchant requires leads. <laughs> loyalty, not by choice. I mean, it makes sense what the actual enchantment does, which is just... Make a trident come back to you after you throw it. But still pretty funny. Efficiency. Fortune. Depth Strider, Blast Protection, Lure, Quick Charge, Knockback, Aqua Infinity, Smite. If only it was like D&D &D Smite. Impaling, Aquatic Mobs specifically. Thorns. Silk touch, breaking, piercing, feather falling, fire aspect, protection, dark stealing it. Old dust. We have repellent, punch, auto smelt, fire protection, frost walker, sweeping edge, soul speed, useless. Should we get these made though? Protection four. Yeah, a bunch of dark steel. Luckily, I only have to make one book. I only have to make one book each. Because Batania. Actually, <clears throat> any prosperity shards yet? I don't see any. There we go. We got a bunch of coal. Processing the combs? I have been. I've been putting them in a centrifuge. Give them the old spin to win treatment.
And I have to... Okay. I gotta do it the long and annoying way. It's fine. Dust. Okay, let's make some coal dust. That I need iron, coal dust, and obsidian. Oops. One stack of obsidian. That should be enough for protection for. And then, uh, Was it fortune? <clears throat> uh, lapis and emeralds and a book and quill. It needs an ink sack. You have been selected. Do not resist. Seven. The question is, no, I have to take all the enchantments off of it. Isn't there like a soap or something? Grindstone, that's right. Clean so many things with the soap. Sharpness. 
take another quartz. Uh, protection. What did I need dark steel for? I don't even remember. <clears throat> I don't even remember what I needed it for. Section four, yeah. Dark steel and lapis. I have a sharpness too. I need a book and quill. They're really making me work for this. Is it Hannah? How are you? Oh my Gleber Glorp, I am almost done exploring the entire map. My god. Okay. Protection, fortune, mana boost, sharpness. fortune be combined is the question so what I assume you saw my message in DC but I also got the main carries from my hyperbleed oh did you Goes up in this fortune on tools. Yeah, that's why I was like, 
I'm I didn't think it would, but I'm using an all-in-one tool. So I didn't think it would. What's better to take then? Probably fortune. Yeah, yeah, I pretty early. Let's go. Yeah, I got a Paxel. It's probably better to just put fortune on it and then put looting on a specific, like, specifically a weapon. Because I was going to build up this a premium sword. Okay, so we got per fortune, sharpness. I found a life stealing book as well. I mean, that, that will do for now. I'll just take these off. So I need uh, life stealing. Reach did not work on it for some reason. Frostbite? What do I got for my weapon? Mana boost. Mystical light. Why do I? I don't want mystical light. But... Sharpness, fortune, tombstone, life stealing. I guess tombstone will go on like all of them. I don't know how many enchantments can fit on one. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to just try to put all of them on, right? Like, It's not like I can just... If it doesn't work, I can just come back in here and wipe them off and try it again. Okay. I'm using uh, Batania enchantments. That's why I'm like wondering which ones work. Okay, what did work worked on this? Life stealing, sharpness, fortune, tombstone. It's all the ones that I did want. Insight did not work, and uh, frostbite didn't. But that's fine. I usually use those. Oops. Oh, because I have mana boost on all these already. That's right. Yeah, the uh, the way the Batania one works is you use mana instead, and you just put the thing you want to enchant on, and then throw the books that you want that have the enchantments on it that you want to put enchantments on. Um, XP boost might work. And you go like that. And then it scans the books around it. And then you can just pick up the books. Tombstone protection and mana boost worked. Okay. So 
I guess uh, XP boost does not work. It will only use the first enchantment from the book. Which is, you know, fine. It's like free enchanting, pretty much. Really mess with Batania heavily. Tend to use it mostly for Terra Steel resource lo lockouts and other mods from packs. I'm only really into Batania because um, it was like the first mod that I really got into. Oops. When I played FTB Infinity Evolved, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like learn Batania. And so I did. Yeah, it's got some pretty cool stuff that you can do with it, like the enchantment thing. There's, um, potions. And like item duplication, like you can just get infinite redstone, glowstone, and nether quartz, and item conversion, and all that. And then towards the end, end game Batania, you can fight a boss that it spawns. Don't. Yeah. Ring of Magnetization, Sojourner Sash were GOAT back then. Yeah, I love the Sojourner Sash. <laughs> and then you can get the, um... The Dice of Fate from fighting the Gaia Spirit. Guardian of Gaia. And then you get a... You can get things that you can specifically attach to the Terra Steel helmet. I can't remember what they are, though. But you can attach them to the helmet and it makes it stronger. Extra hearts from Odin's. Good stuff. Alright, bees. It's training day. I want to hear any complaining, alright? Uh, just in case, though, I'm going to bring out another bee cage. They are, so you can always set up a ritual of healing around them to keep them healed. Oh, yeah, that is true. What the hell are those? Bluegill? Why are there fish down here? I'm not that far into ours. I 
I could do a ritual, though. Flight, Tablet of Restoration. No matter any of the harms undead over time, visually zombie villagers and secure and the resulting villagers offer discount play the nearby. This ritual requires source to operate. I had, the only ritual that I used was um The one where you capture them in a jar to catch the ender dragon in a jar. Yeah. It's like I have unlimited dragon's breath. And with the rest, it's a neat mod. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I do like it. Now, the question is, does it continuously use source to keep the ritual going? Or do you just cast the ritual and then it's good to go? Yes, okay. Only uses it when it heals them. Ah, I see. Very economical. I could do that. I could do that, no problem. It's uh, not healing, it's regeneration, restoration. I still have a fermented spider eye, I do not. Too fancy of a word, just say good for planet and I'll understand. You will understand, you will. Looks a little involved. I just don't have a brown mushroom. <laughs> um, anyway, I can cheat a brown mushroom into my life. No. Isn't it funny that what's going to hold me back is that I don't have any brown mushrooms? What are you guys doing? happening I don't know how to source stone conversion does it doesn't consume those required items yeah
I think I just used a... I made a fermented spider eye and then I used it for something. And I don't have one anymore. Toadstool? Can I turn toadstools into brown mushrooms? No. Who the fuck are you? Wait, why am I lighting on fire? My bees. You guys chilling? Can I turn toadstools into anything? A roasted mushroom. Okay. We're going to find some brown mushrooms. Some red mushrooms. Aren't those like in caves? Sometimes. Let me check my... Wait, they're fine. They'll be fine if I leave them alone for just a minute. You know what? You know what I just realized? I might just have the ritual stuff out here. I do. Made all that for nothing. I didn't even think about it. I was like, wait, what was the last thing that I used? Those pedestals for? It was to make the, the ritual razor. Because of course it was. Flourishing arch block. Amazing, flashing, cascading. Of course, it's the only one I don't have, as always. Check one place. Okay, sick. Instead of crafting one. It is nice, though, that you can craft the saplings of all the trees. in case you need to. Not locked out by RNG. Yeah, we're getting them from the market, I guess. Also works. Oh, 
Here we go. Now it's nice and sparkly. My bees, they will be safe. They will be safe. That's right. He can't even see the nature of pylons with the... Uh, you even see these pylons because of the uh, shaders, I believe. There we go. Normal Minecraft. Looks weird, doesn't it? It looks wrong. You can play another pack without shaders. <laughs> what, what shaders do I even have installed? Complimentary. Unbound. That looks like... My only problem is, is that these shaders don't show mana. I believe Reimagined is just like vanilla. They try to st stick to vanilla as they, much as they can. Doesn't show the portal. Yeah, it also doesn't show the portal. Well, actually, I think this one does. This one shows portals, but doesn't show, uh, yeah, mana or the pylons from Batania. And you... I don't think you can. I was wondering if you can enchant flare chunk. With like mending. No. They used to be like a cheat in the what the what was it? Tinker's construct? If you got like uh if you put the slime on the like arrows or bolts to repair them. It would just refill your ammo so you had infinite ammo. Get down from there. Get in the healing. Stop being ridiculous. They are nice looking blocks. Yeah, it is a shame, but... What can you do? Tinkers is very broken for a long time. It sure was. You get that, uh... Pink slime crossbow. With, um. It was like ender bolts or something like that. The throwing stars, yeah. The throwing stars and the pink slime crossbow. The throwing stars, you could do a different thing for each tip. With the right combination, they do like insane damage and then have infinite of them and they couldn't break.
Good times. You can make it so Enderman couldn't dodge him. Remember the Turturu Bozu? Did the uh, opposite. I mean, I can just make it rain by pressing the turn rain on button. Just, I guess I should. I'll just make it rain. So just waiting around. We have the strongest bees in the world. <clears throat> we can fit in here. Two, three, four, five. How many expansion box can you make? Total of five slots. So I'll just uh, train these ones and then breed them and then hopefully the baby bees will have their same traits. And then I'll turn all their baby bees into prosper bees. Just might work. So handsome, so how's it going? Anch. Yeah, it says you ain't. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm still getting over a sickness. You can still sort of hear it in my voice, I'm assuming. Oh, I was just trying to beat the sleepy, the EP allegations. Have you been playing Helldivers? I've been thinking about picking it up, but... Everything I see with it right now is like, it's like pretty buggy and uh, it's really hard to get into the game because so many people are playing it. It's been fun. Let's go. Love that. City and out of here. We're taking down here for this.
I'm training some bees to make the strongest bees on earth. They must endure being awake all day and all night and in the rain. I don't know. I don't actually know how long they have to be in it. So. Three to four Minecraft days. They do be hating it. <laughs> You know what? Let's use this. I haven't even used this yet. Moving time soon, eh? Exciting times, yeah. It's like a about a month away. <laughs> I'm just hoping I got everything sorted. Because I need to make like a... I need to get like a tax ID number over there. And I need to open a bank account. But they like require a ton of information. Like I have to go and like collect a bunch of my documents and stuff. And it's a whole process. Does fortune even go higher? No, it's only fortune three. Could imagine worth though. Yeah, it'll be worth. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> like I, uh, give myself a month before I was actually leaving off my job. Specifically so that I would have time to work on all that. This is free shit. Feral Claws. Okay. Going feral? And they go in here. Okay, we're doing this then, huh? that I don't know. Oh, it does increase I'm not sure if they stack so I'm gonna do that go away does look pretty cool Nine frick. Yeah, I got to do um that. Uh, I got to I have like two boxes that I've been meaning to like put stuff in and then like ship over, so then I have a little bit more room in my suitcases. But, like, I have to figure out what I want to put in them. And then, like, that's a whole process in itself. Because I have to put... 
every single item that I put in a box, I have to fill out a form, write down what the item is, like what it's made out of, and the estimated value of the item. Another bathhouse. It's a whole, it's a whole process. So I was thinking of maybe I'd just send some stuff ahead of time. And then just pick it up when I get there. But... That in itself, of course, is an incredibly long process. I wonder how far this ancient compass is going to take me. If it's even going to take me anywhere. Or if it's just going to point in like a direction. take me somewhere eventually, right? Right? Mike the Lame has awoken nearby. Poor Mike. Who's these? These things. That is, uh, that's a structure that just generated before my very eyes. <laughs> I. Question their building methods. Moving sale? I should. Baseball pagoda. Is it just like that? It's like a decked out wither skeleton. Some clothes in New Zealand, even in a thrift shop. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm like the whole process of sending stuff. I'm like, should I even bother? Like, is there even a point? Spider had 70 health. Some tough spiders. God dang. Yeah, 
I'm wondering, like, if all I'm gonna do is send, uh, like, clothes, is it even worth it? Okay, I feel like I have some... Some of my, uh... Armor got, like, fire aspect on it or something. Something special cinema that's different, of course. Yeah, but... I don't know. What the hell? Get down here! I was wondering why that spawner was called Dinner Bone. <laughs> Made enemies that walk on the ceiling. Just start fighting each other. You have to like do all that, then I gotta sit down and look through, like, all of my stuff. And figure out what I want to take along. And then when it's getting closer to moving time, I have to, like, take apart my computer. Welcome in. How does how was water polo? Fuck that spider was riding on a spider. Yeehaw. Why do these spiders have so much health? A new friend. Nice. Happy birthday, by the way. I was planning to tell you last stream, but you got sick. I did get sick. On my birthday stream, no less. I spent my entire birthday pretty much doing nothing. <laughs> I need to get the tax ID thing. And then I need to get a bank account. Which are both things that I can do when I get there, but... You know, the more I do now, the less I have to do when I'm there. And I have to go through every single thing that I own. Us. 
stream times will change, most likely. Because I'll need to find a new job when I get there. That's one of the bigger things, is that I've been, I have to apply for a bunch of jobs. I have my CV out in the... couple uh temping agencies Jesus Christ I'll be having to take most likely a full-time job so not only will stream times change, I probably won't be able to stream nearly as much either. The national bank you could use there, like Citibank? Um, maybe? I don't know. job you're thinking about ISIT um, any that I can get my hands on because for the first year that I'm there I can only take temporary or contract jobs I mean, ideally, I would like to have some sort of IT, but we'll see. I don't even know what mod this is, like, from. Like, this whole pagoda. Glad I decided to enchant my stuff, though. This would have taken way longer. <laughs> what do you mean it's in here? Is it just loot? There's still like three more floors of this thing. Okay. Environmental accumulator. Right next to it. Kitty slippers. Avoid creepers avoid the wearer. Let's go. It's these, the flaming gemstones. That's what's doing the fire damage. I mean, there's no way. Absolutely no way I'm taking off the bunny hoppers. Grants immunity to fall damage. No way I'm taking that off. <sighs> Do you know how to code? Uh, no, not really. I wouldn't say... That I never have. But I will also say... That... No, I don't really know how to. Resin B?
Axolotl. Wow. Axolotl? I don't think so. This is his house. I bet there's a warden down here. At least I could be able to find one. Quite enough out of all of you. Break off. this a metropolis of restless souls the deep dark swift sneak hey who turned off the lights Whoa. Who make it so dark? That just happened. Hey, any wardens down here? There he is. He's got a lot of health. Another one. supposed to be able to like avoid that attack academic weapon vibes what does that mean really another one And 
Another streamer I watched tried to log into Helldivers 2 for hours today and never since he played Minesweeper while waiting. <laughs> Until they fix the login issues. Yeah, they got a uh, they got a couple server issues going on. What is he? You good, dude? Is it the clone servers these days? I can't imagine it's that hard. I feel this looks like it's supposed to be a portal. It's not though. Thousand channel points gonna see till Friday and spam flat Friday. It's flat Friday, baby. Flat Friday used to get spammed so hard that I had to put a cooldown on it. how spooky wardens are I mean they're not to me because I have very strong gear but you know okay, let's go home and check on our bees still alive I hope yes they are becoming so strong They're getting so strong. Um, flawless solar gem. Do I care about f solar gem? Not really. Fire damage, gravity. Doesn't gravity just make it so you can you can't jump very high or you fall faster? Silk. Flawed gem of the royal family. I don't want flawed ones. What the hell? Making that noise. The 
warden follow me home? Surely not. I don't know what's making that noise. I'm sure it's fine though. Population one? I never even heard of that. I hope we have a fun time though. This block, do I want that? Chip gem of the samurai. Is it just going to keep making those noises until I go kill him? I really hope not. <laughs> Med eternal weather tolerance none you need more training you're not ready let's go It's a lot of time and materials. How do you get started? There isn't one path to the star, but all paths will eventually lead you there. To get started, we'll need to take a look at the three most important factors you play through. Power, storage, and resource generation. Generation looking like. Is it at least close to 100 million RF per tick? No, but we need to change that. There are plenty of ways to generate all the power you'll need to create the star, so let's make some of those. You haven't checked all the, all the power sections, so I hope you learn more about the power options. Create a reactor, essentially. Millions of items. Virtual storage. A2. You bet I went into A2. You betcha. A furnator? Wow, steak. The impact provides a variety of ways to generate tons of resources using various mods. Well, some of these aren't required for the start, so the quest branches out to show you all the different ways to generate resources you'll need. Okay. Mystical agriculture. We've definitely gotten into that. Bees. Mob farming. Digital miner. Chunk destroyer. thing is crazy I'm gonna assume it takes a lot of energy to run Ooh, a flux plug void mining which is uh, industrial foregoing this is the one that we're probably gonna want to get into at some point because this one doesn't uh, mine stuff it just generates Demon friends. Evil craft. Not really that evil. Just uses a lot of blood from your enemies. Powerful items need the star. You'll need a lot of blood. 
Meta craft is all about pressure to get started. Press iron gets easier to do is hole in the ground, throwing some iron ingots or blocks that blow it up with some TNT. Some might get lost in the explosion, but that's a risk we'll have to take. Okay, cool. Searing Expulsion. Use the Smith Needle on socket apothic gems. Gems will be destroyed in the process. Oh, I see. I thought it just gave me a Furnator. Um, oak drawers. I don't need those. Guardian gem. Garbage. More like garbage gem. Am I right, fellas? I finally understand the ending to the sixth sense. The names of people on the screen at the end are the people that worked on the movie. Oh. Yeah, that does make sense, I suppose. Hello, Gwen. Thank you for 69 bits. Nice. Nice. Wait, I don't want a Furnator. I want a Magmatter. What is the Furnator one? Is that the... Passive generator? Coal and wood. No, I don't want a Furnator. Happy to clear that up for you, thanks. I think mine is currently about 350,000 FE per tick. <laughs> Literally, it picks up from ground level to bedrock per operation. That's, uh, yeah, I, I guess that does, you know, it, it does destroy chunks. Just turn an unbelievable amount of power into instantly picking up an entire chunk. Is rain talents. How do you raise productivity? Where's my books? Can you raise productivity? Normal, medium, high, very high. B attributes can be transferred from one bee to another by putting the isolated gene on a honey treat and feeding it to the bee. Interesting. So you just have to, like, get lucky with it. to bottle the bees okay well, I have them on uh, what's it called Metaternal this one still has no weather tolerance I think I give them flowers. Or 
productivity, maternal, other one it's really focused on, the others don't matter that much. It seems like if it's raining, even if they're not in the rain, they'll still go in. But they are maternal, so. Maybe, maybe they just happen to go inside the hive. Then it won't matter. Yeah, I guess, I guess they will be simulator. Then it won't matter. They just need them to be working all the time. Looks like you figured out the bees. Yeah. What I had to do was catch them in a bee cage and then place them at the hive. So they would stop flying away. That was that was pretty much the thing that I was missing. No, I'll never see the true ending, the beeless ending. Need to get this one first. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go. To the witch hut. Let's see some of their honeycombs. So squishy. All right, this is just regular bee nests. can't find what you're looking for. Just take somebody else's stuff. I think I took all the honeycombs out of here. Ah, uh, freaking. Beekeeper villagers, you can level up some good trades to help with bees, but that's another rabbit hole. That is true. Beekeeper. Are there beekeepers? Are there bee villagers outside of mine colonies? What do they trade for? Trader from easy villagers? Yeah, I do have the trader. But you need something to put in it, don't you? Advanced hive, okay. So I have a trader here. She ended up not being very useful, so I'm going to throw him in the trash. He has been thrown away. That's where the trash belong. He's not useful.
Cheers. A campfire. I just need two honeycombs. I should have some right here. Yes, I do. Isn't this supposed to like catch these bees? Mystical agriculture. Oh, honey seed. It's also super good. Helps with the combs. Oh my god, he's tiny. He's like an actual bee. How do you, how do you put the, oh, right here. Oh, so this is correct. I just need honey treats in there. Okay. They do they do grow up on their own though, right? This just speeds it up. No, that doesn't work either. I'll just let them I want to let them nature do the work. Um it was correct. I just didn't use enough treats. That's what you're saying. There you are. Campfire. Sugar bag honeycomb. What the hell is that used for? Ooh, nutritional paste. Just food. B cages. Journeyman, advanced jungle beehive. Doing the computer. Go outside. Yo, so beautiful. How's it going, Pouds? How was your stream? Welcome in, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Subnautica. You know what? I think yeah, we're going to be friends. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. Stream was terrifying. <laughs> Big fishes. Yes, welcome, everyone. Thanks so much for the raid, Pouds. Uh, I'm Red. I play a variety of games. Right now I'm playing all the mods nine Minecraft, which is a huge kitchen sink mod pack for Minecraft. I'm learning about bees. Yes, also I really like Red Pandas. If you guys don't know Pouds, good friend of ours, make sure to go check him out. Very funny young man. Biggest fear is the deep ocean. <laughs> what a great game to play then. Did you find the big ones yet? Did they find you yet? Yeah, what up boys?
expert. Ooh, sturdy bee cages. And a bee jar. Um, what? Can he get like better traits? Multiple Leviathan life forms in your area <laughs> turns around. No, 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 no. That's very funny. Damn, but it's RNG. Do you think I should remake this guy? Probably just redo this guy. Could get lucky on the last level. Let's see. Let me my campfire's back. Yeah, if you guys uh, came in with the raid, make sure you go take care of yourselves. Nest. Die bee spawn. This is not very good, is it? <laughs> You've wasted my time. And for that, you go in the garbage. Bring out the next villager. Oh, I can cycle trades. Oops. Lay at the first level. for me. Honey bottles. Bee cages. What did you have? One for four. Sugar bag. Box. I mean, that's not too bad, is it? I really want the honey treat, though. Cherry? This is like the same one. How's it been Minecraft been? It's been pretty good. I would say. I'm just get a bunch of jars, I guess. <laughs> These guys ended up being like the same thing, except they didn't buy expansion boxes from this guy. Um, I enchanted a bunch of stuff. All my armor is enchanted now, and my weapon is enchanted now. 
I started bees. Bees. Look at them. He's tiny. I like the way they spin around. It's quite funny. Um, campfire, I guess we can try. More campfires. I feel like we're making some decent progress on stuff, though. Whoa. I want those logs to be used. I'm gonna have to go grab some logs. I keep forgetting that I have claws on <laughs> as like an accessory. Okay, what'd you get? Bee nest and a lumber bee. That kind of sucks. Maybe we get lucky on this one. Any treats? Same one. Um, I'm gonna throw them away. You. All right. There we go. One for honey treats. He's a keeper. Can I trade somebody glass bottles for emeralds? I don't need this many glass bottles. I have so many, you know. These bee cages. You'll need them for jeans? Yeah, probably. It's a lot of bottles. I mean, I figured I'd be able to use them for something, but it just ended up being a lot. <laughs> All right. I used a lot of emeralds, but I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end. Now I need a prosperity block. So I actually need to go find some prosperity shards. Ooh, luck be upon me. I swear the mining dimension has like less ore veins in it. 
Oh, that was pretty lucky. Good thing I got that fortune. Two of them are pistol in the rain. Become Prospera B. Come here. Can they be in the same hive? Or do they need a different hive? They can. What do Prospera Bs need? Prosperity block. Yeah. Actually needed two prosperity blocks, but luckily I got 18 from that little vein. If I do that, will you be able to figure it out? And I'm back. Welcome back, Percy. He's doing it. Let's go, dude. Spare bees have begun. Holy butt, that was fast. Holy butt, butt, that was fast. <laughs> Leave them alone, butt spot. I gotta wait for the other one to come out. Can multiple bees use the same flower? Like the same flowering block? Okay. So I don't actually need a whole line of quartz. Need this, uh, other crystalline bee to come out. Oh, he's still growing. Still growing, aren't you? Now that we can just buy these.
Oh, it is going. I'm like, okay. <laughs> an interesting weary way of showing that <laughs> yes prospera be combs Finally. have to stand here and wait for the other bee to come out we can make another baby can't just stand this grilled cheese obama sandwich true truing Any uh, any second now that B is gonna come out. I accidentally clicked on him. Hope he comes out quick, because I didn't mean to click on him. Wish there was a way you could take him directly out of the hive. Simulator upgrades, you can. Isn't it? This is not that. It's not that expensive, really. I just need some comb blocks. messing with the bees recently they are very strong it's like if you want to become the strongest person in the universe in this game you just you you get into farming and beekeeping <laughs> all right you know what you just go on your day i guess i'm just gonna go make the simulator upgrade Trip to its flower block will be instantly made. Flower block being slab in front of the hive containing the required flower box for the bee the hive. This guy's selling hives, right? I just need a beehive and some emeralds.
I mean, what does this cost? Oh, it's like... I could do that, or I could just pay this guy to make it for me. Thanks. And then I can just pay him to make the expansion box as well. Need to catch the Prospera Bee now. Spare a bee. So the speed upgrade still works with the simulator, right? Yeah, okay, good. Is that him? You gotta come out one of these days. Oh wait, I don't have to wait for him to come out. I can just do this. feeling today exclamation red check just need more speed upgrades now hope you've been having a good day yeah I have been Hello, Melon. I hope you have been as well. We're learning about bees. Bees. Busy, busy. It's super hot today. Great. Excellent, even. Um, you know what I should do is get another sturdy bee cage. You selling those? You're not. That's okay though, because I have an unbelievable amount of them. Anyway. Some me. Let me. Wait, I need flowers. I need poppies. No. I wonder if I can give them Botania flowers. I wonder if they'll eat those. This was only one way to find out. Oops.
Looks like they will. Hey. There we go. A baby bee. I'm gonna do the lurking things. I got a massive headache from the sun. Alright, sun's good now. Take care. Drink lots of water and all that. Set your hive or what? There you go. We'll figure it out. Let him go, yeah. This is what I need more of. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, Captain. Hello, Ethan. How are you? So that works, right? I just put it like right here and then that that just works. Should right. We got a high productivity bee. Let's go. Uh oh, somebody's gonna get squashed into jeans. Is it working? I can't tell. That B helm? Yes, I do. Is it even called B helm? B nest helmet? Kamikaze That bee is very high productivity. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it would. It would be pretty productive, huh? So you get one of those to spawn and then you capture it. Is that the idea? I think I have a bee nest out here. Oh no, I got rid of it. I do know where some bee nests are. They will have some angry bees in it. Break it down for genes. Don't think you can breed it. <laughs> That's such a fucked up way. They're pissed. Idiot bees don't even know how to use the door. I didn't even get the bee nest. I thought I did. Uh, 
How do I pick it up then? So touch. So touch. Sorry about that, bees. My bad. They understand. It's all time for them to move out anyway. Oops. I put this here. This is how this is how the game's actually supposed to look. I just had night vision goggles on the entire time. <laughs> that looks so stupid. Okay, oh, yeah, you're gonna get hit by something. Um It'd be too hard to find something that will hit me. Armor head slot this whole time. <laughs> I wonder if it still works if it's in the... That slot. We can find out. Back from Nap and has Borger. Nice. Napping and borgering. Is that prosperity? No. What is that? Bort. I think it works in that slot. Maybe I'm just really unlucky. I hear it. I hear the bee. Let's just. My helmet just makes that noise. They're so they're so tiny. Okay, hold on. I gotta take this off. Wait, I can't block things either because that makes them bleed. Okay, I don't think it spawns. Unless you actually have it on your head. Oh my god, they're so fast. Hey, maybe I have to use like a passive source. Stupid looking bee helmet. Two? Get a skeleton trapped? That would make sense. Um. What are you doing on computer? Go outside, oh. so beautiful! <laughs> Profile picture. Welcome in, everyone. Thanks so much for the raid. How was your stream? How was Minecraft? Were you also playing a mod pack? Everyone who doesn't know me, I'm red. Uh, I like red pandas. I like the color red. And I play a variety of games. Right now, it's 
all the mods dying, so. <laughs> Hello, Bashka. Welcome in. Playing an SMP with some friends. Oh, that sounds fun. Are you just looking in category, or? I'm learning about bees right now. Great rest of your stream. Yeah, thanks again for the raid. I appreciate that. I'll have a look after stream. Beha. I could have swore there was a way to. That's nah, whatever. Where is it? Um, mending. I'll just do this. Mountain lion attacked five women on bikes near me? What the? That's not a very fun fact at all. I'm in bed since I got work in the morning. All right, good luck with the work. And thanks again for the raid as well. Pouts. I don't think this is working. Unless I'm supposed to block in the hive entrance. But well, I had the simulator on it. Wired flower block or feeding slab. Do I need this? Capture them. I think overpopulation of them. Oh, okay, so it has to be a feeding slab for it to work. Where did he go? Come here. Place it in the bottom top slab. I'm gonna try to figure out what you mean by that. Break the block in front of it. Place it on the top half of the hole. Okay. Do I have any chests? I don't. Do I have any planks? I didn't. That should work. Right. I guess we'll see. This is a bug where it prefers the center slot of the feeding slab. Interesting. Well, I'll move it to the center just to be certain. Just like turns it sideways.
We have twigs. No. More speed. Okay, it's working now. We love to see that. Where is Char? Probably fell back asleep. Hopefully, anyway. Because she really needs it. I have an idea. It says whenever I take damage, so does that mean if I just run into a cactus? It's supposed to defend you, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I might just need to trap a skeleton or something. Yeah, it looks like it's got to be attacked by entity. Are you winning, son? <laughs> Just stand in front of it. Hello, Graken. Welcome in, and SK. How are you? Skeleton. Skeletoni. Chocolate bee. Gamers, I have glorious news. Bring us the news. He will start streaming in 47 minutes. Why do you want to go watch her instead? Not good enough for you. Is it because she got a check mark and I don't? I bet that's what it is. Actually, I think she might be. I don't know. I don't know if she is still tonight. We'll see. The mouse who has been scurrying its way around my house for since August woke me up at like 4.30 a.m. And then what? Hello, Grizz as well. How are you? There it is. Ah, I got him. Hmm. He changed his mind. Does he want to be friends now? Too bad. We're going while doing Tears of the Kingdom stuff. Fun, how's that been? Thank you for the lurk. Are you gonna like, hit me or are you just gonna hold? You just want a hug? Like, it's you just needed a hug? Oh. You were weak. What are you doing? <laughs> Hit me so I can catch this bee. 
very high productivity. Scratching a bunch of stuff turns out cutting the humane trap. So I got first bus to take me three towns away instead of free some bushes. Let's go. Got another one. I don't know how many I need of them, but about to find out. He just wanted a hook. Okay, how does this work? You bottle them by putting them under this and then smash them. Trap doors probably be a good idea. Dang it. Okay. Like that. He got out. Catch him. Come here. Dang it. I keep clicking too fast. He's fast as fuck, boy. See, the game goes well, just clean up endgame stuff. Crafting of the mine? I'm learning about bees by squishing them. With a piston. And then... I need to index their genes. Centrifuge. Finally caught that. God dang. Juvenile raccoon stared at me for 20 minutes yesterday through my window. He wanted my roast beef sandwich, you think? <laughs> Temper... Um, diurnal all tolerance, productivity, and then the rest of these I just want to get rid of. I like I missed a lot. <laughs> what? Come on. This is all pretty straightforward, isn't it? I'm crushing bees to get their genes. So I can make very productive bees. And you do gene indexer to auto combine. Or you can combine them. I see. All right. 
just need more of those. And then what do you do with the genes? Do you just apply them to the bees? Redstone signal work or redstone blocker level works. Oh. Do I have a lever? I don't. Percent gene with a treat, then right click the bee you want to apply it to. I see. <clears throat> so I gotta collect a couple more of these Kamikazes. And we'll be chilling. Be chilling. Who wants to fight? This guy looks like he wants to fight. I think beat is so fast. Can't see him. I keep getting night vision from it's like when I touch water I get oh that's yeah okay I know why I think it's my backpack that's a necromancer I do not need to fight a necromancer to get bees it's so hard to catch Is my brightness? Yeah, my brightness is all the way up. This is just how it's supposed to look. I'm just so used to having night vision on. Oh, geez. Here we go. All right. <laughs> he starts running. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck. Is that a traitor? What does a traitor do? He is. Come here. Come. Come here. Why are you so hard to catch? There. You have to, like, click directly on them. <laughs> For some reason, they don't... Oh, because he's a summoned zombie. They don't, like, recognize him. So this is, like, the perfect guy to get him from. Stop wearing the shield. Yeah, probably. It's probably making it harder. Come here. Come here. Get off me. It's such a cheese way of getting high productivity genes.
back. Oh, now you fucked up. I'm gonna send my bees after you. Accepted, accepted method from when I read. It's just a smart thing to do. Bees? Going to bed. Have a good rest of your stream. Alright, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Jeez, he fell down. Yep. Let's go collect some experience and fix my helmet a little bit. Good thing it's made out of a diamond helmet. Okay, we got a lot of bees to squish. So let's get squishing. You don't know if that helps. do multiple at a time, but I can just put a bunch of them in there. And just push the button. Hey! You got jailbreak. I let him out again. They can only do reliably do like two at a time. Not even reliably. Come back here. Nothing this helps at all. They just kind of slip out anyway. Let's go. Look at those jeans. Oops. So will all make sense in time.
Probably. Okay, that's everything. Throw all these in here. Let them do their little dance. Hope so. <laughs> Will it will? I swear. I guess I could have put that back on. It doesn't matter. Um. So what I was getting was these productivity very high. So the bees that I, I'm okay. So I made a helmet that has a chance to spawn a specific kind of bee called the kamikaze bee, which when you get hit, it spawns a little bee that comes out, attacks an enemy and then dies instantly when it hits them. But the kamikaze bees have a very high productivity rate. Like, they all have very high productivity gene. gene. So what I was doing was spawning them and then catching them before they, like, died. And then I brought them over to this machine and then squished them into bottles, which squishes their genetic makeup into a bottle somehow. And then you use the centrifuge to separate all their genetic qualities into these little test tubes, like the gene samples. And then I put them in here, and then it combines them until they hit 100%. And then if I combine these with honey treats, I can feed them to my bees and give them the very high productivity trait. Like that. So now he has very high productivity. Is it complicated? Yes. Is it unethical? Also yes. It is worth it though. You know what? Make very I think we're bees. gonna be friends. Thirty one months D, no two sad cat. Miss Cat, hello. No two? Next month, cat. Next month. Thank you for the resub though. Thirty one months. Two? How are you? I'm learning about bees. It's going pretty well, actually. Probably put this away. Huh? Um, that can go away. These can go away. That can go back in there. This can go up here.
Sleepy, Eepy, whatever minds your craft, I suppose. <laughs> Just drove back to compare it. Um, well, the whole reason I'm doing this, the whole reason I was doing that was to create Prospera Bees, which give me Prospera Bee Combs, which I put in the centrifuge to make Prosperity Shards, which is something I would normally have to, like, just go and find. But now, essentially, I have an infinite source of them. That was, like, the whole point. Because <laughs> now we can just... We don't have to worry about finding prosperity shards anymore. <clears throat> that makes much more sense, I think. How do you raid a streamer? I but. <laughs> well, you can do it from your creator dashboard, I believe. Or you can type in your chat slash raid. And then put a space and then put their username. Hershium. All this suffice to say, so I did all of this so I can make a really strong sword. <laughs> yeah. We should raid Char. Yeah, you think so? See this this already does more damage than the sword that I have and my sword has enchantments on it. Imperium sword, and then we're gonna do um, a Supremium sword, and then you could do Awakening, I suppose. Awakened Supremium. Look up the crafting recipe for its spawn egg. You get awakened to premium. Cognizant Dust. Supremium Black. Oh, I think you'd get this from the Wither and Ender Dragon when killed an SS weapon enchanted with mystical enlightenment. Yeah.
Yeah, I just need more prosperity bees then. Which means I need another prosperity block. I guess you're right. Lloyd is right. She would also not like that you would be doing that. <laughs> she would think it's really awkward. Um, simulated, that's what I needed. I should really make one of these as well. gene sampler oops you don't have a sad panda emote you need one There, there. There's always plenty of time to be sad. Cypress, hello. What were you? Just sad all the time. Two? Two? 22 bits. Thank you for 22 bits, cat. Ugh. 10. Glad you made it back home. She's chilling. Feeding slab, not feeder slab. Simulator in. I put the feeding slab down. Put the block of quartz in there. Let's go. Doing well. How are you? Blue? You could at least ask how I'm doing. I am the streamer after all. I'm doing all right though. How are you? How is how is side Priz doing? Stressing I really need a new place to live. Are you gonna come to Welly? We'll live together. Productivity Alpha. Draconic Dust. From the Draconic Comb. From the Draconic Bee. From the Obsidian Nest with Dragon's Breath in it. Which flowers the Dragon Egg. Ancient Bee and a Draconic Bee makes a Vibranium Bee. I 
I mean, I could do that. I think I have an egg. No. Did I spend it? Did I use it? I might have used it. I could just go kill the Ender Dragon. I mean, it's not a big deal. No. No, I'm moving, moving to Melbs. Hell yeah. Live rent free in someone else's house. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. Start playing Destiny 2 again, pretty much relearning everything. <laughs> Destiny players coming back after playing. Uh, Hell Divers. Welcome home, cheater. What's my network doing? Getting pretty full. Danger of the Legendary. That doesn't exist. We well, played it a couple times. Fear is not exactly an OG player. I played it a long time ago. I got it and like the first two DLC for it. And then they drastically changed it and then started removing DLC. And then they're like, if you want to play the DLC, you got to buy the new DLC. But then we're going to take it away. But when it comes back, you got to buy it. So you just got to keep rebuying Destiny 2 forever if you want to keep playing it. And I'm like, well, I most certainly am not getting back into this game then. <laughs> Phoenix Housing should be a human, right? Yeah. Perhaps. Perhaps you're right. This is going shields. It does. I don't have any other DLCs. I don't know if I plan on getting them. Yeah, and then you can't, like, enjoy what the best part is of Destiny, I feel like, is without it. So then that just kind of sucks. You know, I should make the um, the Bobby upgrade, baby. Made some flowers. Is that even worth it though? Like I could just I could just take the bees out instead. That'd probably be easier.
Got some very high productivity crystalline bees in me. When did you become Quicksilver? <laughs> what? Quicksilver? Speedy lad. Um, it's because I got uh, I socketed some gems into my boots that give me thirty five percent speed, and I'm also wearing a sash from Botania, like a belt that makes me run faster. What is this? Flawed gem with the incandescent inferno. Berserker's Fury. What the hell is Berserker's Fury? God damn. The open gear hitting hard. Rice. One more. Here we go. This is very high. Mediterno. We only got two Prospera bees now. That should get us some um, prosperity bee combs much faster. I don't know why this one's hurt though. You give him some honey treats, he'll feel better. Prospera B boy. Really? Just wax, that's it. Is the heated centrifuge? Oh, that takes the dragon egg. I'm gonna need um, draconic bees. Looks like. Some stage here.
think there's only yeah, only a thirty percent chance. Unfortunately. I think the heated centrifuge has a better chance. Maybe not. Hard to say. We got them prosperity shards, though. Not very many, but we got them. Not long till a big move. Correct. That is coming up. It'll probably be a time... I don't know how long it will be, but it might be a couple weeks where I'm just not streaming on, like, at all. I probably won't even be online. I might be on, like, my laptop or something. So that'll kind of suck, but what can I do? Nothing. be busy. I will certainly be very busy. That's prosperity. Silver. Prosperity. Yes. The good stuff. Should be getting, yeah, should be getting a lot. So I got Fortune 3 on. I got two right now, so I want to do three of these from the rest can say is shards. Potato recovery. Interesting. get the potato recovery so excited for you thank you hope you've been catching up on local slang chair bay sure yeah absolutely jesus christ just walk over here and suddenly there's six spiders that spawn Spawn eggs, Enderman spawn eggs, Curse of Binding, Worker Exploitation. Will receive double the sheep takes double damage. Another mending book? I don't need another mending book. Kyanite? What the hell is Kyanite? Sweet A's. Yeah, I think that's what they say. Big moves, making big moves. Quite literally, yeah. <laughs> Worried. 
Williams, Bill. Churgy. Right, guys? Ooh, slime spawned. Rebounding. Vorpal. That sounds fun. Got my Vorpal Blade. Pretty much a Kiwi now? Yeah, basically. I'm basically a citizen now. Hoping that was a, a mimic. So many heads. Actually getting hit. Used to bro from Shar and I, to be honest. It used to be my normal vocabulary. Just bro and dude when I was a young teenager that's all we would say lawless gem of the royal family let's go Garbage. Garbage. Those can go in there. Horse armor. Quit horsing around. Okay, those can go in there. Go in there. These can get smashed. Bruh, too. It's wild, bruh, but I totally got you, dude. <laughs> Hello, Vlad. How's it going? Thing left is you get extremely offended if someone asks if you're from Australia. New Zealand, isn't that kind of like Australia? Hot dog? I'm pretty sure that's a corn dog. That away. Tertium. Oops. One of these. One of those. I need more gems. So premium. Wow. 
Who are you trolling? Bro, I'm such, you're such an epic troll. Give me the Supremium Essence. Two of these. Two of those. One Supremium Sword. Excellent. So now this thing uh, hits really, really hard, essentially. I just need to put some enchantments on it. Vorpal, that one sounds fun. Tombstone, fortune. No, I need looting. Sharpness, life stealing. Reach, maybe? I have a book and quill, I don't. I need an ink sack. Stupid idiot dummies down here. Is that a shrimp? Not so shrimple now. Yo, it's a shrimp party. Right here. <laughs> I'm looking for a squid. Can you get ink sacks from anything else? Like, this is ridiculous. No. Why can't I just use black dye? Absolutely zero squids. Where have they all gone? Where have all the good squids gone? Archaeologists? Golden Idol? The hell do you got? Golden Idol. I sleep and failed, so I'm back. Welcome back, Hannah. This too. <laughs> Sorry to hear about your uh, napping experience, sleeping experience. Which is basically just a napping experience because it didn't work out. Okay, let's see if there's any squids that spawn down here. Sometimes squids spawn down in that little bit and they get stuck and die. I think it's mostly glowing squids though. I don't think I can do anything with glowing sacks, can I?
What the hell can you do with glowing sacks? Alert plate. Glowing item frames. A druidic tome. I can make item frames glow, I guess. That's cool. Here. That's uh that's what I care about. Yep. Bro, where are the squids? There's one. Vlad smooth as always. Looting three skulls, man. That's what I need. Does it have to be? Skeleton skulls. Can it be any head? Has to be skeleton skulls. Annoying. Zest skeleton. Calcium, hydroxide, and phosphate. Should we get into chemistry just so I can craft a Skeleton skull, because I need one more. <laughs> no way you're still on cooldown. Ain't no way. I think that lets you get skulls more easily. Mob head drops. Somebody said set up a mob grinder. I'm not setting up a mob grinder for that. Glowstone like. Where's glowstone, I guess? Eat 
being smooth. Mobile gaming. Oof. Can I guess skeleton skulls? I can make hydroxylapatite, which requires calcium, hydroxide, and phosphate. You can get calcium from andesite. Hydroxide you can get from oxygen, hydrogen. And you get oxygen from an atomizer. And uh, <laughs> you get hydrogen from an atomizer with hydrogen gas. Or you can get triglyceride, which you can get from honeycombs, which I do have. And then uh, phosphate, which you can get from phosphate dust, or phosphorus and oxygen. You get phosphorus from nether brick. This is the most ridiculous way. I kind of want to do it just because it is the most ridiculous way to get a skull. <laughs> Set up a whole alchemy lab. Okay, give me one of those. And then I'm gonna need a dissolver as well. Droxyl appetite. Which I need appetite or They say smooth little bits of stubble here and there growing a bear. <laughs> Zen cable, you know, you have cool commands. Thank you. I spent all the trouble of setting them up. Now, if I dissolve appetite or which I might be able to just go and find and then I can uh, silk touch that <laughs> do you mean beard by any chance <laughs> growing them bears Can't grow a bear either. Have you tried though? Andesite appetite. It's kind of blue and black looking. For lucky, I can find it real quick. Disparity.
still pick this up on here. Head off, bed, see you later. All right, see you, Ethan. Have a good sleep. Thanks for stopping in. <clears throat> I wish if I could grow a bear, then I'd never hear the end of it from Melu. <laughs> a bear! She does seem to enjoy bears. That's true. Lead. Raw lead. Lead poisoning. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find Appetite. Oh, did I just find some? I think that's Lapis. Yeah, it looks like Lapis. Yeah. Got Elmondine. Not quite what I'm looking for. Whole bunch of it as well. I don't want that. Good morning, Char. Hope your extra sleep went okay. Let's go. The cooldown was worth it. 101. And it's real this time. Not even made up. I'm not seeing any appetite. I might just find a different way around it. As much easier as it would be to just find some appetite or that's it. oh unless that oh that's lapis so much ore that looks so similar morning everyone good morning Shaw Diamond I guess I can grab some diamonds while I'm here. Prosperity. Never have enough prosperity shards. At least you slept, I guess. I suppose. To start. Doing our best to beat those EP allegations. Ethereum or prosperity. How much prosperity or I find just like running around. Still okay with I'm still okay with finding a bunch of it because like I still need it. It's just nice to also have an infinite source of it. I thought that might explode when I tried to open it. Diamond door. 
man. I don't need diamonds. Appetite. All right, you know what? What's alchemy if not a little convoluted, right? So, what we're going to need is hydroxylapatite. And to get hydroxylapatite, we need to combine calcium, hydroxide, and phosphate. To get phosphate, we can either take apart phosphate dust, which uh, I don't think we have any of that. Do we? Try calcium phosphate. Can I turn that into? Try calcium phosphate dust. Which can be centrifuged into calcium and phosphate. Which, uh, reg tech machine. Oh, brother. Tech. Like 20 steps just to make like one tiny little thing. Okay. What else? What, what, what other ways can we get phosphate? Phosphorus and oxygen. We can get phosphorus from nether brick. We can get oxygen from an atomizer. Oxygen gas. Or we can dissolve triglyceride. We can get triglyceride from honeycombs, which gives us triglyceride and sucrose. So we take some honeycombs. We dissolve those bad boys. We get some excellent four stars and some triglyceride. And then with triglyceride We can dissolve triglyceride again into hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. Probably make a chest. ME chest. Does this have to be connected to anything? I don't think it does. I just need a storage. So, just going to make a chest. Two of those, it's fine. Gold. With the diamond. That should do. Basic to diamond. Alright. Now we have a bunch of elements. We can get phosphate from oxygen and phosphorus. And then we need to dissolve nether bricks to get phosphorus. So let's go ahead and get some nether bricks. No idea how much I'm going to need. So I'll just do 16.
Let's dissolve. Dissolve these bad boys. Oh, it's only a chance, I see. What am I hoping for? Phosphorus? Five percent chance. Okay, I'm gonna need more nether brick then. Or chemists. Truly. There's a phosphorus right there. I'll just keep this going. Okay, got a phosphorus. And then that's one phosphorus, four oxygen to make phosphate. There we go. And now we need hydroxide. To get hydroxide, we need oxygen and hydrogen. So, pretty easy. We need more than one of those, do we? No, we need two. We need six phosphate as well. There's any more phosphorus and oxygen. We were getting oxygen from honeycomb triglyceride. Where the frick is my phosphorus? Daisy's making biscuits. I want biscuits. Ooh, biscuits. need two more one more she didn't pay rent why is she working so hard <laughs> let her pay rent Phosphorus, come on. And these. Man, just need one more. Eh. 
you can just throw bricks. <laughs> why, why would you be able to do that? I mean, it's funny, but why? Just throw bricks at people. Finally, a phosphorus. Okay. Gold, silicon, that can all go away. Now let's dissolve some honeycomb. For that sweet triglyceride. Throw nuts? I know it's what you have on your mind. Are, but I said brick. Nether brick. Sounds painful. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll further refine the dissolve the triglyceride into carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. Wait, I think I need another phosphate. Yeah, I was thinking five, but I need six. Well, throw those back in until I get more phosphate, I suppose. Please, phosphate. They said something about nuts, but I was half listening. <laughs> Is he talking about nuts? Oh, nether bricks. Never mind. Got excited for nothing. Got to put a pipe upgrade on this. Please, one more phosphorus, please. <clears throat> One phosphorus, please. A singular one. The zinc oxide. Yeah. It's like me trying to get that 10% chance of getting bonus mats. Good thing I got a bunch of nether rack. It would have been really funny if that was the first thing I got was one phosphorus. Sulfur. You're making my life so hard. Just give me phosphorus. One. Please. There we go, finally. Okay, then we can turn phosphorus and... Let's 
hydroxide. It's phosphorus and oxygen. Makes phosphate. And then I don't need hydrogen, I don't think, right now. Anyway. Okay, that's phosphate. Done. And now we need calcium, which we can get from andesite. And we can get andesite from throwing regular stone in a pool of mana, which I think I already made a bunch of andesite on accident earlier. Yeah. How much do I need? Calcium. 14% chance. Okay. Just pull it all out until I get a calcium. Well, I need 5 calcium, so... There's one. Two? Lucky. Three? Lucky. Four. One more. Iron. Potassium chloride. We're really going to stop right at four. Just not give me another one. Thank you. Okay. And that can all go away. And we combine all these into hydroxylapatite. Lapatite. Uh, oh, we need eight of those. Shit. Let's go back in the that work. Oh, I think it does. I think it needs an upgrade. I call upgrades, yeah. Smelting, smoking, blasting, stone cutter. stack upgrade for it. So used to my all-in-one tool being on that. It's messing me up. Oops.
Okay, let's take all this out. Um, we got nine calcium from that. We need more andesite. Probably more nether brick as well. Let's do this. Let's make a second dissolver, I think. Side eye. <laughs> to site all the time. Okay, are we looking for phosphorus? Four. And I need... eight of these, which means I need... Eight phosphate, right? No, forty eight. Well, forty now, so we need ten times as much phosphorus. <laughs> Is there an easier way to get phosphorus? I can use glow ink sacks for it. I should just click this. A glowstone is just straight phosphorus. What am I doing with nether bricks? Waste of time. All right, straight phosphorus. Here we go. Glyceride, nickel sulfate, sodium oxide, lithium oxide, barium oxide, calcium. Smooth basalt.
anything with oxide in it, I guess. Oh, I was getting zinc ice oxide from another brick. So this should turn into oxygen and zinc. Yeah. Silicon dioxide should have silicon and oxide in it. <clears throat> so I can just refine these back down to oxygen. I guess sucrose also has a ton of oxygen in it as well. So I'm not hurting for oxygen. Let's make some phosphate. How much do I need? 40, I think. Sucrose. Genshin Impact. That's the one. Be fast to use this one because that's got three oxygen in it. It's got dioxide. Break down the sucrose that has a lot of oxygen in it. The things we do to create one skeleton skull. I'm sure it'll all be worth it in the end. <laughs> I'll get to the end of this and then be like, what did I need a skull for? <laughs> Actually, <clears throat> I think I need one more phosphorus. I'll break down the glowing sacks because they're kind of worthless to me. Phosphorus and then oxygen. They announce a double ornament drop event the day I use my four coins. Thanks for that game. Hell yeah, dude. I used mine already as well. Who knows, I might actually get an attack rope from it for Inert Salsado. Apparently, the most difficult stat to get on a rope. Because it's the only one I haven't gotten. I've gotten like 10 times more ER ropes than I have attack ropes. <clears throat> for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't tell you why. <laughs> okay, what do I need? 
hydroxide, which is just oxygen and hydrogen. And then calcium. How much calcium? Five. <laughs> calcium dust. Calcium ingot. Can you get from like bones or something? I don't think so. Calcite. Back so is that the follow up set? Copper chloride. No, that's the um. Is it? It's the one that makes you do, uh, or gives you a little bit of like crit rate. And once your crit rate hits 50, your like other stuff gets boosted a little bit. Okay, I don't need that much hydroxide. Get back in there. And now I need calcium. Which I can get kind of reliably. Calcium hydroxide. Calcium block. I don't think I've ever picked up any calcium. Um, same for that. Calcium dust. Calcium ingots. Calcium plate. I think it's just going to be andesite. So close, so close. Four more. I just need a bunch of calcium. So I guess I just go and make a bunch of andesite. Boost your ult and follow up. Other than one, boost your skill and basic though. I think you run that on Clara. So I assumed the former, yeah. I was doing it for Clara and Um, Herta now. I started building Herta. Because as it turns out, if nobody plays the character that you liked making, you can just make content that she's really good in, and then suddenly she's really good. brain let's get started yep herta went from like c tier to s tier as soon as pure fiction came out and then people are like oh like, this specific style of content, she's really, really busted for. And now they got all the follow-up attack sets and buffs going on as well. So she's, like, actually worth building now. So I started building her.
All right, how are we doing on calcium? Have we gotten any? Five. Okay. We're almost there. Just a couple more. Is honestly like the most ridiculous way I've could have done this. Brick it. The alchemy. The chemical mod, like alchemy stuff, has been in these mod packs for so long and I've never touched it. Today's the day. out. Come on, just a little bit. I need two more calcium, that's it. Please. There they are. Let's go. Truly embracing your inner albedo. Yeah. Then I gotta unlock this, and boom. Wait. Why is that turning into a bone? I want skull. <sighs> skull. And if I went through all that trouble and then I accidentally made a bone, I would have been pissed. <laughs> we did it. One skull. Oh, that's going to go back in there. I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to do that for a looting three book and that was that was basically all I was doing that for all right I'm to make this sword busted a buster sword, if you will. A sword that busts. That it's red as well. Yes. 27.5 attack damage. It's got life stealing, sharpness, soulbound, vorpal, and looting. <clears throat> which I also gives it uh, the chance to decapitate enemies, supposedly. I don't know how that works. If it just gives me the head from them, or... what? Well, I guess we can go try. Let's go hit an enemy with it. I would say we're just about ready to fight uh, the Gaia boss. In fact, we probably are. I just have to set up the arena for it. Bonk. You're all in trouble now. Well, the Enderman. Ooh, almost enough. Ooh. 
There's one head of. Let him go. I do believe I'll be able to kill. The wither more easily now. I wonder if it has durability. It doesn't seem like it has durability. I didn't even think about that. It doesn't say anything for it though. Oh yeah. Once you make this a premium sword, it just doesn't need durability anymore. So, now I can put sockets on it as well. We didn't give it, like, crit chance. And, uh... More lifesteal? As if I would need that. Matan for a second. Was the last sword you were making a sword that what? Oh, I made a Supremium sword. And, uh... Oh, yeah, it does take their head off. Nice. I was wondering... If it had durability, but it does not. Because I didn't even think about it when I was crafting it. It just has infinite durability. Sword that busts. Oh, yeah. I was saying <laughs> I need. I made a busted sword, a buster sword, if you will, a sword that busts. Okay, I need a socketing sigil. Which I can combine with... What are you doing on computer? Go outside oh, so Vani. beautiful! Hello, Vani. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. How was Baldur's Gate? How many boyfriends are you up to now? Did you die? <laughs> Just the two. <laughs> yeah, welcome in everyone. How was, uh... Are you just playing on normal mode? Are you playing like tactician or honor mode or something? Knockback. I don't want knockback. Lifesteal? Crit chance. Sure, we'll do that. We'll do life steal and crit chance. Doing co op with a friend on balanced. Oh, okay. Is that fun? I got an insanely stupid sword now. It's a good time, but oh. I'm going to bed. Oh, okay. 
Well, thanks again for the raid. Good night. Sleep well. Don't let the Keely bite. It wouldn't be him. It'd be Cake. Yeah, see ya. Making hella combs down here. Um, let's do another wither skeleton. See how we fare against it now with the new sword. Summon it. What down here? It would have been so funny if I just teleported over here and found appetite or immediately, just like instantly. down I should make him a I should have made a data model all right next time I fight a wither I'll make a data model on it oh my god dude he got fucking wrecked holy shit Two shot his dumb ass. <laughs> I didn't expect it to do that much damage. That's not even like the strongest weapon either. God, that's funny. Thank you for the clip, Lloyd. <laughs> It's like, all right, here we go. Just. You know that incredibly loud. Uh, frying pan sound. That's all I'm thinking of. Just fucking. Good lord. Alright, I think we're ready to fight. The Gaia boss. They actually... Funny thing about the Gaia boss is that the creator knew that you could make incredibly insane weapons that just kill enemies, like, instantly. So to combat that, you can only do a certain amount of damage to the Gaia boss at a time. Sounds you can hear via description. <laughs> Just knocked him straight out. Wait, I think... Mm, I really want to keep going and go and do the Gaia boss, but... We're already at like six hours, so I'm, I'm not sure if I should. This is the next thing we want to do.
actual of Gaia. Runs any number of people participating, perform the ritual with over five people in the vicinity, can be a respite for disaster. The chaos creates rituals on that scale, probably should be attempted. Stay away from the purple. Because I have to build like a I have to build like a whole arena for him. Where did I build that at? Probably just like out in the water. I gotta set up the cell arena. It's going to take forever without a builder's wand. <laughs> Luckily, such a thing exists. using way too much but it's fine
Let's go ahead and put some of these mage lights around. So it stops spawning dudes out here. So I basically just have like a mob spawning platform right now. Oh, 100 spiders. Let's go. Yippee. I got a dragon egg for that. This is not a place for traders, so goodbye. Damn, that's a lucky loot pull. It's not quite in the center, is it? We'll need to build a roof I don't remember how high it has to be up Make uh, stuff for it at least. I'm gonna get sand, dirt, and fire, cobblestone. That's right. And then we need, whoops. Three, six, seven, eight. I think you need nine. some Gaia pylons. Just needs some mana pylons, which needs, so we need four, six, eight mana steel, four diamonds. Four diamonds, um, and then elementium is two of those. I think if you follow acid, so I need 
8, 16 iron. Four pearls. We feel pretty bad. Sorry to hear that, Sean. You're taking care of yourself. Um, need these. And buy your graphics. <coughs> you feeling sassy? L mod. <laughs> oh, I need more pearls. Four more. Crazy. You want to come in and try me to get to play your song for some reason? And then fight the mods. What's it about? Does it have lyrics? No. Duh. That's all you say in it is duh. Oh, you say other things too. Like what? Trust you? But we've only just met. Can't you do me a solid and host some of the lyrics? Does it have to be? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten.
I'm gonna need a lot of glass. I think this is high enough. I hope it's high up enough. Otherwise, I'm wasting a lot of glass. Oh, wait, I have far break. What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to need that building wand again as well. I don't know. In this, uh... In this environment, you know. As a Twitch streamer. Putting content out. That content ID, you know. You never know what could happen. Plus, who knows what the lyrics could actually say. I don't. I'm back already? I thought you were going to bed. What happened? Oh, you're still doing your sheets. <laughs> Oh, I should just make one of these. Screw the diamond wand. A thousand twenty-four blocks at the side of a building facing you last forever. Change placement restriction. Sneak left control and right click. That's crazy. <laughs> Young gravy. I think the funniest thing here is that I'm the only person here who doesn't know who Young Gravy is. He's a rapper? That much I could surmise. He's like you, but you're better. You must be making hella money then. Oops. It's just not a fast enough. That's fine. Let's put that there. You think he likes dream? You think so? Dream also make music. How's yours compared to his? See? Okay. 
I need more glass. I just need an insane amount of glass. Luckily that use is like no mana. I really hope I built this high enough. <laughs> And I didn't build it too high. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. It's been decent. Yeah, it's been been doing all right. I learned bees. Time for bed for real. Good night again. For real this time. Actually, something that you would really like. Hold on. in your drawers? Huh? There's something you'll like, sure. They're so tiny. Where'd he go? B? Really hard to click on as well. <laughs> um, I call all these are like very high, but not this one. <clears throat> Normal productivity. Glass. Mm. 
I'm gonna do this. Um, item pipe. Is there a fast way to glass? Oops. So I just smelting sand. I don't think so. It'd make a faster furnace, I guess. to obsidian and then obsidian to netherite whoop I did not mean to make that many well it's okay I have infinite netherite so. damn look at all those slots Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's uh that's a bit faster. It'll be like the sound of item conversion. Okay, so we can just keep making more. We're getting pretty close. Makes me wonder why I was holding off on upgrading that for so long. It's just one of those things I just didn't really think about, I guess. Whoop.
Okay, I think that should be good. Let's make some of this. Persium. Perium. So premium apple. Why not, right? Now we get us absorption two, speed two, resistance two, regeneration two, and strength two. Three minutes. <clears throat> and then I need a terror steel ingot, I believe, to start the ritual. They're stealing it. Okay. Tool? Here, I'll show you. So I need... I need to make a Terra Steel ingot. Which is... One mana steel, one mana pro, and one mana diamond on this. And then put a ton of mana in it. Makes a green ingot. And then. Oops. I shall wait. Claim these chunks as well. Simply sneak right click the beacon with the tear steel and get. There we go. I forgot that he has his own music. Might not be able to see him because I have shaders on. Yeah, there we go. He's invisible. He's supposed to just be your own character. Uh, I don't think I built the thing high enough. That's fine. Because he's supposed to, uh, it just copies your own, your own skin. Hey, okay, jumps up a bunch of garbage. mirror match. If this is a mirror match, I would have died in one hit if he took my sword. Hey, 
There we go. I blew him up. <laughs> yeah. We did it. That was just the um, first time you summon him. That's just like the introduction. <laughs> and then there's like a 2.0 version of the fight where he is stronger. Uh, what did I get in this? Oh, here it is. Let's go. I got some Gaia Spirits, which means I can do a Guardian of Gaia using a Gaia Spirit ingot. So you can fight Guardian of Gaia 2.0. And that's when you can get the actual, like, really cool rewards. Which we're going to go do right now. This can go in there. This can go in here. This can get crushed into dust. That can go in there. All right. <laughs> now for the second one. I gotta pause the music so you can hear the epic in-game music for it. It's funny, you can, I think you can actually craft the disc that plays this song. prepared for this fight. <laughs> They're all fighting each other. <laughs> Let's do this one. This will be funny. So many mobs. My mana. That's a pain to catch. <laughs> Where do you go? There we go. We did it. Oh. And now we got the Pinkinator, which turns Withers pink. For fun, I guess. But more importantly, we got the Dice of Fate, which is a fun thing to have. Put this stuff away.
Um, will of character tells you critical hits apply whether so this is a thing that you can do is that um the terra steel helmet specifically gets these little bonus things every time you beat the guardian of gaia 2.0 you get a you get a chance of one of these dropping and then it like gives you small upgrades for your helmet Which is pretty cool. I like those. Alright, let's see what we got. Dice of Fate, go! The Ring of Odin. Plus 20 max health. <laughs> okay, that works for me. Can I put it in here? No. What rings do I have on right now? Aura and mana. <laughs> question is, does this... Okay, that does not work. Has to be in this inventory. What that do? The ring or the helmet upgrade? Oh, you can sort of... You can see it on the front of the helmet. It's like a little green fire if I hide this found out real quick <laughs> yeah it gives you a relic and um they range from this ring and then there's a ring of Thor and a ring of Loki that I believe you can combine all three of these into one ring. Um, Eye of the Flugel is... You can use it to set a teleport point. And then when you use it, you'll teleport back to where you set it. Infinite amount of times. Good relics, imagine. <laughs> Uh, the fruit the fruit is an endless food supply so you can just eat it as much as you want uh, key of the king's law that one's uh that one's a fun one that one's better left just seen We can, uh, I wonder if we can turn off the music for that. I don't know. Maybe it's disc five? No. Maybe. sure dice of fate guy a trap guy a teleport I don't know I was thinking if I can turn any of that off um I think we should 
probably do that a couple times. Get some of the good stuff. Do four. Hands are freezing, but why? Why do they freeze? all my mana. Still got it. I still have way more mana than I thought I would. I wish I could put it in this slot, that'd be nice. Or would like a bracelet slot or something, I don't know. Again. We warm them up by holding them, Lloyd. <laughs> Dang, she's smooth. All right, I have to turn the shaders off. some ways that you can cheese this fight and do it like super early you can build like basically a little like hut and then just hide inside of it and they get the thorn chakrams because they're like boomerangs they always come back to you and just sit inside and throw them at him. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It was a good way to get a ton of mob drops. I'm annoyed that I built my ceiling too high. So if you build if you build the ceiling at the right height, he can't drop the little like purple dust on the ground that hurts you. Throws tweaking, yeah, just a little bit. Got his ass. A reward. Frostbite five. Another relic. Oh, the fruit. I mean, fruit's all right. Never go hungry again. <laughs> again. Spawn camping him. This looks really easy. I remember that I killed the wither in two hits. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's because I have really, really strong gear now. <laughs> the hell was that guy holding? He had like an elementium sword or something. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a way to just automate this boss entirely so you don't even have to do it. You just get the rewards. Another dice. Let's go. Let's go. Ring of Loki. Ring of Loki allows the wearer to call upon the trickster god's ability to effectively be in multiple places once using an equipped Ring of Loki. Begin by sneak raking, clicking a block with an empty hand. If it's a block is selected, designated the origin. Sneak right clicking other blocks will store their offsets from the origin of the ring. To finish the procedure, sneak right clicking the origin. That's very confusing, but you do that, and then, and then what? Ring of Loki, where did it go? Where'd the ring of Loki go? We just, yeah, here we go. They do that. Oh, I see. Just lets you do. I think. I think I would need two of them. <clears throat> Interesting. get the um the key there we go i guess i should have made one more and then we i believe we would have gotten one of each i want to get the key and the uh the last ring the one ring to rule them all I forget that I have life steal on this. So I'm like always worried when they're whenever I'm taking like wither damage that my health is actually really low. But literally every time I hit somebody I get health back. Wait. 
Like, oh, I'm taking so much damage. But all my stuff is indestructible and I have essentially infinite health. <laughs> as long as I keep hitting them. Alright, what do we got? No, I didn't want this. Damn it. Well, I can show how this works, I guess. I'm gonna go make another one. One more. Like, it's not a bad item. It's a pretty good item, in fact. <clears throat> Look at that, you can actually see the mana in there. Oh, I didn't even need to make those. It gives you like a crazy amount of stuff. No. Yes. There. Give me that. Oh yeah, I got the other. Critical hits apply slowness. Nice. Stronger critical hits if low HP, which I will never be. Critical hits may apply weakness. I can just combine all these. Alright, and then this thing works like this. Set a teleport and then teleport. More teleporting. It kind of really loses its value when you can just right click and teleport anywhere and just set a marker anywhere, really. Still pretty convenient little item. fight him one more time after this to get the last relic and then anytime we fight him after that is just for batania stuff because every time you kill him he drops a ton of batania stuff which is great because creating runes is a pain in the ass and I don't want to do it as much as I can Alright, what are we going to get this time? Alright. The last ring. Where the good and thunder got equipped, it dramatically increases the Terra Shatterer's area of effect. Which we aren't using, so it doesn't matter. But... When I finally do make it, it'll be pretty cool. Either way, I can combine them all into one, I believe. Right? I thought I could. I thought for sure you could change. You could combine them all into one. No. 
machen. Various kinds of elemental damage, including drowning, suffocation, fire, and starvation. Oh, I thought you could combine these, but I guess not. Maybe they don't do it anymore. You used to be able to combine them all. I guess not anymore. Would it just give you all the effects at once? All for one, somebody says. There's extra botany, but I don't think that's on here. Dang. Okay, well, those can go in there. Let's get this last one. Doing the 12 hour stream today? I am not. I just wanted to do the Guardian of Gaia and then I'll probably call it. I'll let you guys know before I do the 12 hour stream when I'm gonna do it, which will be pretty soon. Probably next week. I'll do uh, getting over it during that. The skeletons that spawn in with just boots on. Alright, that should be the last one. Overgrowth seed. Another critical hits of low. I'm just gonna throw that away. This should be, yes. The key of King's Law. Alright, this one's best shown if I'm like standing up somewhere. Just summons a bunch of weapons. <laughs> What in the Ningwa? Oh, this thing. It's so cool. I think it's a reference to some anime that I've never watched. What are you selling? Don't hurt me, buddy. One dude from Fate? Yeah. 
I think that's what it's supposed to be from. <laughs> Osmium. All the modium site? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to actually hold on to that one. I'm just finding stuff to throw away. into the garbage. Wait, no, I'm going to keep that. Let's go. Firefly. Alright, that's the end game of Batania. Batania is basically done. Why do I have a block of iron? I'm gonna drop from that. Gilgamesh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. space out here. I've never watched it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> there. I can sit out here. Levels it gave me as well. God dang. Well, that's fun, isn't it? Got to beat up the Guardian of Gaia. Ugh, got all the relics. I think that's all the helmet upgrades you get as well. Which is just every time you crit, do a bunch of crazy stuff. Your armor. <laughs> this is what the armor is supposed to look like on its own. I don't know if that actually shows or not. The open gear. So I'll leave those off. Um, I could show. I'll leave that off. The bunny slippers. Oh, 
Bunnies. Yeah, there's also cosmetic armor. <laughs> if you just like the look of other armor. Forty-three percent chance to crit with one hundred sixty-one percent crit damage. My ratio sucks. I don't think you can hide this backpack. Eh? I guess I could hide the one I can hide. My dragon backpack. <laughs> These flare chakrams that I like don't use. Just gonna put those away. I just like using this. You just fly around and blow things up. <laughs> you know what I should do? What I should finally do is make a jetpack. <laughs> This is one of the first things you were meant to do. Do you even need it? No, not really. Here we go, I made the jetpack. What is the wireless wireless charging? That's it. Never made one of these. I should Okay, uh, Fox controller. I think I need more blaze. Yeah. of that flux dust oh, I gotta go make more flux dust god dang it okay, let's make some of this um obsidian on to bedrock I think it is Out the entire crash. The crash. I haven't, uh, I like just got to the crash.
you know, for expertise since tactician's hard, it's pretty difficult. I've been enjoying it though. Four. Wireless charging. How does that work? How does wireless charging work? A feather. Oh no. Eight feathers. Let's go. A way to charge your own is worth easy across dimensions. Once you have a plug attached to your power system, you want to make the flux controller and place it down. Right click to bring up the interface and go to the wireless charging tab. For here, you can select each section of your inventory you'd like to keep charged. To activate, make sure to hit the toggle at the bottom of the wireless charger. Click apply. There we go. And now my jetpack will wirelessly charge. I don't know how the jetpacks work, but we did it. Fruit salad. Hooray. Yippee. Okay, how do you turn on G? Still know. How the fuck do you turn this thing on? Whatever. Figure it out in a second. Because now we can upgrade. like a lot of these, huh? Three of these. Whoops. One of these. Why no work? Why do not turn on? doesn't work either. Why can't I turn my jetpack on?
would be nice to use my jetpack if it worked. Oops. Open this. No. Is this it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. V and H? There. We can fly. We. Tiger Krish. I had the wrong helmet on my bard and wondered why spells weren't working. <laughs> why isn't this working? Get there in the end, at least, right? So that's good. Oops. Burn it all. I just go to diamond directly. No, I gotta go gold. Gold jetpack. Two of those. Two of these. Three of those. Two of these. There we go. Me wondering my ratio wasn't doing any damage the other day. He didn't miss shit. <laughs> Why is my ratio not doing any damage? Oh, he's not wearing any artifacts. Oops. took his stuff given that his problems what she would actually do given how she feels about him <laughs> yeah hand it over all right check it out now we can just fly
There's really no reason for me to put that off for so long. I just kind of did. That's just the gold one as well. We can slew diamond. Vibranium and unobtainium. But I mean, the gold one is... It's gonna, that's gonna be fine. Doctor Ratio. Yeah, he's pretty funny. He's also really strong. Which you wouldn't expect from a free five star. You expect him you would you would expect him to just be like garbage, but then he turns out to be like really good. Um, you know, can I make the diamond one right now? I might be able to. Aloy, yeah. Imagine. What the? What was it smoking up? Hey, can I just do platinum? I'd rather just do platinum. Or... Skip that. Wait. I can't. Yes, I can. It's because I have the jetpack on. That's why. Wait, can I do emerald then? No. Platinum, platinum's the next step. I've got a lot of platinum. I need a couple of that. This was crazy. I was debating pulling on E1 Rune May or S1 Ratio. I could have had both in 30 pulls. Frick, man. The one that got away. And the next is Emerald. Really? I didn't know you could eventually turn that into emeralds. How much emerald do I have? Not too much. Okay, we'll stop at platinum. He's going to use like all of my stored yeah <laughs> i'm just sapping up all of the energy in my back my jetpack right now run butt let him cook god damn that's what i'm saying
There we go. Well, it's 36 million FE. Fire Emblem? Yeah. Sort of like that. I actually don't know what FE stands for. It does stand for something. It's an energy unit for Minecraft. It's somebody just made up. Fly right on up. Think of an acronym, lack of my MC knowledge, just showing with my brainstorming session. <laughs> what the hell could it mean? Looks well, tin. I'm sure I knew at one point, but it like it's so inconsequential to know that it doesn't really matter, you know? Flamboyantly egad. Egad. Probably throw some of this cobbled deep slate away. There we go. Look at me go now. Zoom in. Eggs. Where did eggs come from? Quest complete. I'm not going to make an egg pun. Okay. Or am I? The chickens are just getting exercise. Egg. Egg, which I have no idea where it came from. I need to eat these. salad as well. Should I make a chicken farm? Maybe. 
exquisite pun. Oh, I already have an egg farm. Oh, that's where I got the eggs from. I forgot that I made this. I'm just like trying to use up my energy bar. Actually, you know what? There was a guy in the nether. <laughs> hey, you bastard. Now happen. Got lava everywhere, dude. Healthy as. I'm sure this would be a lot more terrifying if he wasn't, if he hadn't trapped himself in a corner. So much health. If I just poured a bucket of water on him, I think that would have killed him. actually still does a ton of damage you can see when he hits me my health goes down a bunch and then I hit him once and all my health comes back <laughs> so I just have an insane amount of life steal Nothing. You think this hurts? Hell thought giving a guy 15,000 HP was a good idea. Oh shit. I was kind of using that corner to keep him from knocking me back. Guys, tired of hearing this guy get hit yet? <laughs> it's almost there. It's a good beat, jamming. There we go.
Thanks for the stuff. It's a being from 500 years ago. The 500 years ago war. <laughs> what did he drop? The lengthy infernal forge of the Earthbreaker. And it doesn't even... It does less than half the damage of the weapon that I have right now. Right click, add a block to cause AoE damage. FYI, this is a pickaxe. Oh, okay. Hey, you. <laughs> oh, a bee. It's a crystalline bee. That must have been one that I got or something. He just flew all the way away. Okay, well, I guess that's a pickaxe of some sort. Monstrous horn. What is that used for? Make the monstrous helm. Fall below half health. Knock back nearby enemies. Increase defense, knock back resistance, and regen. Another armor set. Eye of monstrous. Is that just to like find more of these dudes? Didn't really drop anything that I wanted, to be honest. I think the hammer is pretty cool. Hey, you. He wasn't shooting at me because he didn't want it. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. I don't think so. Uh, finally happened. Okay, we're gonna make it more storage cells. Uh, maybe we just save that for next time. We was just pretending he didn't see a thing. He's like, I'm. I don't think so. <laughs> I think I'll call it there. I'm getting pretty hungry, so. Yes, I did eat before stream. But I also haven't taken a break this stream, so it evens out. So, now we're going to go take a break by ending the stream. I'm going to go eat something. And, uh, yeah. I had so many tabs open. I was, like, typing and stuff, trying to find things. Um. Yeah, come along for the raid. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Appreciate you all. <laughs> Good question. Don't worry about it. Join the Discord, you know. Um, we can rub we can raid boggy i mean she's playing bg3 which i like and i'm sure she's not just treating it like a dating sim and having multiple naked people around her 
So we'll just go do that. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Uh, hope you all have a good night. And I'll see you Thursday. And probably next week will be, I'll do the 12 hour. If I don't get like a rebound sickness or something, that'd be excellent. Love that. Yeah. Good night, everyone. I'm clicking pause, but it's not pausing the music. Why is it not pausing the music? Bye.